you know that this is an adrenal gland, don't you? Because you can see in areas this uniform, approximately one millimeter thick, a ribbon of bright yellow cortex sandwiching uh, browner, redder material like here between the two cortical layers, which is the adrenal medulla. Uh, also, please note that in areas, the cortex is uniform like it should be. But look, there's areas of thickening. Here's a nodular thickening area. Here's a nodular thickening area. Here's a smaller area of nodular thickening. And here's a very large area of nodular thickening. It's almost as though the adrenal uh, cortex uh, was hyperplastic in a nodular fashion. And that is the name of this case. It's called nodular hyperplasia of the adrenal. Could these hyperplastic cortical nodules produce uh, additional cortical hormones? Of course they could, and they often do, but they may not. Here's a microscopic view. Uh, probably won't be too surprising. Uh, first of all, let's establish the fact that this is an adrenal gland. And I'm going to try to do that by showing you um, the capsule, the fact that along the subcapsular area, there are uh, cells are arranged in a ball-like or glomerular pattern, the zona glomerulosa. As you go deeper, some of these uh, cells are arranged as fascicles, uh, like you see with the zona fasciculata. And then in the deepest areas, again, they're kind of like in a reticulated pattern. If you've ever seen a, uh, the markings on a reticulated python, you'll know what I mean. But in addition, you could see these thickened areas microscopically, like here. You could see another nodule here. Um, because this is a very, very large vein, you know that you're in the medullary area already, don't you? Although it's very, uh, I don't really see too much by way of adrenal medulla tissue on here. This is almost all cortex. These adrenals are enlarged. Here's another nodule because of this nodular uh, proliferation or hyperplasia of the cortex. Also note, once again, that the cells themselves are quite uniform in size. There are no large bizarre forms. They seem to be well differentiated in that they are producing an abundant amount of foamy uh, cytoplasm, which is storing all that nice cholesterol. And um, that's all I want to say about this case. Uh, if you, uh, you'd be le less likely to call this a uh, adenoma because it seems to be multifocal cortical thickening rather than one single solitary tumor. But if you wanted to call it uh, multiple adenomas from a functional or behavioral point of view, uh, you wouldn't be wrong because it would behave the same way as a uh, cortical adenoma. Thank you very much.